The first Kennedy half dollars were silver coins minted in honor of the Americans' assassinated president. That was quickly changed the following year when the U.S. Mint started issuing 40% silver halves. Unfortunately, high precious metal prices resulted in a new change, and all half dollars struck after 1970 were made of copper nickel clad. Expectedly, the 1984 half dollar value is not much since these coins are modern and contain only copper and nickel without any silver, unlike pieces issued in the 1960s. Only a few first rated specimens can bring a premium of hundreds of dollars, while you can buy others for a couple of bucks. At the beginning of 1963, no one could assume that it was the last year for minting Franklin half dollars. Unfortunately, November 22, 1963, roughly interrupted a carefree era in American lives after Lee Harvey Oswald assassinated the 35th president, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. The U.S. Mint officials reacted immediately, and the idea of the new coin with a murdered president on the obverse appeared within a few days. The first suggestion was to issue a quarter in his memory, but his widow found such a thing inappropriate. She believed that no one, including her tragically killed husband, should replace the first American president's portrait. Respecting her wishes, the decision was made to mint a half dollar in honor and memory of John Kennedy. Two engravers, experienced Gilroy Roberts and his assistant Frank Gasparo, made a miracle. They promptly completed new obverse and reverse designs based on their previous work to speed up the process. The Treasury released new half dollars into circulation on March 24, 1964, about four months after the president's assassination. All half dollars produced that first year contained 90% silver, unintentionally encouraging hoarding. Most Americans considered these coins memorabilia instead of regularly struck coins intended for circulation. People stayed in lines outside banks for hours to get new coins. Even though all banks throughout the country limited purchases to 40 pieces per person, 70,000 delivered Kennedy half dollars disappeared by noon. Respecting the high demand, the U.S. Mint quickly increased the number of issued coins to 160 million, but it was not enough either. Congress allowed additional minting of 1,964 dated half dollars during the following year. Consequently, the entire mintage of 410 million silver coins severely depleted the silver stocks. That forced the next precious metal reduction in their composition based on the Coinage Act of 1965. Despite this move and the additional removal of precious metal in 1970, Americans still consider these coins collectible mementos of Kennedy's legacy. The 1984 half-dollar obverse includes a sizable Kennedy's profile, partially covering the word liberty written on the top edge of this lovely coin. The lower half-dollar part is reserved for In God We Trust, divided by the president's neck truncation. The mint mark and the denomination are struck close to the bottom coin rim dot. The 1984 half-dollar reverse includes a heraldic bald eagle representing the presidential seal. It holds a shield over its chest while its claws grab an olive twig and arrows. The FG initials are placed under the bird's left leg. Above the eagle's head is a band with a written Latin motto, 13 stars, and the same number of dots. An additional 50 stars surround the bird. Those numbers symbolize American states, the first 13 and the current 50. The designer engraved the United States of America and half dollar along the coin rim. The 1984 Kennedy half dollars are round 50 cent coins with 150 reeds along the edge. They are made of a pure copper center with an outer layer of copper nickel alloy and weigh precisely 0.3646 ounces, 11.34 g. All pieces have a diameter of 1.20472 inches, 30.61 mm, while their thickness is 0.08464 inches, 2, 15 mm, without deviation. Dot expectedly, comma. Even specimens in the lower graded mint state are affordable and cost $1. Coins rated MS64 are available for $10, while you can buy one with MS65 ranking for about $26. The best preserved half dollars from this mint are those in MS66 and MS67 grades, and their estimated price range is $75 to $1,150 at the current coin market. Interestingly, one of the rarest Kennedy half dollars in MS67 plus ranking reached $3,760, a far higher sum at an auction organized on October 3, 2016. 
That day, one collector paid an incredible $4,650 for this coin. The hope remains that he knew what he was doing and that this investment could pay off in the future.